This video is about Sydney's new multi-billion dollar metro system. But before we get to the project, of course, let's review some background. Now, Sydney's growth means a need for more infrastructure. And a critical part of any city's infrastructure is its airport. But Sydney's legacy airport has a major issue. It's in the middle of the city. So not only is the city restricting it on some of the sides, the harbor is restricting it on the other sides. And it gets worse because there's noise restrictions as well, meaning airplanes can only fly at certain hours of the day. When the planners went back to the drawing board, they identified a huge piece of land in Western Sydney where they're building the new airport today. It's also a multi-billion dollar project and was at the time the biggest earth moving project in the Southern Hemisphere. But the next challenge is that because the airport is a ways away, you need all the land for a new airport, it's outside the city. That means a need for additional infrastructure. And now we need to get people from point A to point B, more transportation, which brings us to the new Metro project. Now the Sydney Metro project, big picture is a multi-decade undertaking to build over a hundred new kilometers of rail underneath Sydney's 5 million residents. Today we're focused exclusively on the Western Sydney airport station boxes and tunnels segment. A joint venture between CPB contractors and Gela is building 9.8 kilometers of twin tunnels and the accompanying stations. And CBP was cool enough to give us access to the entire project. I was waiting months for this, so excited to see all of this. And that's where we start today's video. We started not so bright, but early before 5 a.m. for a safety briefing with the day shift. Because the tunneling generates dust within a confined space, we picked up dust masks, which is why this entire video is me talking after the fact. Briefing complete, it was time to head straight for the tunnel. We descended into the Claremont Meadows portal to track down the tunneling machines making their way through the earth. Before we ventured to the tunnel boring machine, we visited the cross passage work. To dig each, crews use remote control excavators with hammers and other mini excavators and skid steers to remove the earth. Once excavated, they apply shotcrete to keep everything in place while the permanent structure is formed and poured. Now for a long walk. Seriously, we'd missed the cruise tram, so we got our steps in. And while we walk, I might as well explain how TBMs work. This project has four TBMs in total manufactured by Heron Connect. I think I'm saying that right. I don't know. They're named Catherine, Eileen, Marlene, and Peggy. Each machine is massive and requires months of manufacturing, transport, and assembly. Once the crews excavate and build a big enough launch pit, cranes lower each piece into place where mechanics build the machine before it begins work. Two of these tunneling machines are Earth Pressure Balance Machines, or EPBs. EPBs work by applying pressure at the front of the machine, keeping soft earth from collapsing in the tunnel as the machine advances. Thanks to a special corkscrew and soil conditioning foam, the machine extracts the earth while maintaining constant pressure at the head. Only a small percentage of the new Sydney Metro project required these machines to battle soft ground. Okay, we made it. Time to climb onto the machine. As you can see, the machine's a bit snug. The majority of the tunneling machine supports the front where the actual tunneling and ring placement happens. Because it's an EPB, we obviously couldn't see the actual cutting head. Put very simply, it's a giant rotating disc with smaller cutters doing the work. Periodically, the cutters need inspecting, so workers must spend hours within a decompression chamber before accessing the pressurized cutting head. Wild. 
the real action we could see was the ring placement. Every time the TBM excavates 1.7 meters, it builds a new ring. Then, using enormous hydraulic cylinders, it pushes against the new ring, helping it advance further. The machine leaves a giant concrete tube in its wake, the blank canvas necessary for the future metro. Each ring has six segments. Cranes lower the segments onto a tram at the portal, which then carries them all to the TBM. Crews load them into the machine, which uses an enormous vacuum-powered placement arm to carefully position each segment, which weighs about four tons. The project has a total of 69,910 of these. Where's the control center? It's just behind the ring building and has enough room for a few folks. While there, one person operated the overall machine while another analyzed the data on a laptop. As you can imagine, TBMs can't get the best GPS signal underground, so they steer using high precision laser systems instead. To turn the machine, the operator can apply more hydraulic pressure to one side, moving the machine to the other. So to steer to the left, they apply more pressure to the right. And before we head back to the surface, it's worth mentioning the network of utilities needed to run the TBM. Each machine requires pressurized air, ventilation, water, power, and a conveyor system. Each is run along the tunnel wall, and crews within the TBM add sections as the tunnel advances. Okay, to avoid the few kilometer walk back, we hitched a ride with the tram that brings the tunnel segments to the TBM. It wasn't exactly as quick as the future Metro will be, but it did the job. Now back to the surface, we checked out the final pieces of the operation. Much of the yard houses the precast tunnel segments, which took about 20 months to manufacture. Each segment has a specific place within the tunnel, so organization is critical. Then we have the loadout area, where the material from the tunnel's excavation ends up after a long conveyor ride. It's wet because of the additives used for the EPB process. Trucks haul it off to a well-regulated site to keep the tunneling area tidy. That was a glimpse into the amazing Metro project that will take people from the city of Sydney to the brand new airport. Thank you so much to CPB, Gela, and Sydney Metro for having us out. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Stay dirty.